All right, she's in. Sarah Palin just joining a national campaign to try to revamp the GOP's image. The governor joining the likes of Mitt Romney, Jeb Bush, and our next guest, Virginia Representative Eric Cantor, who joins us now. Congressman, welcome back to your world. Uh, you know, there could be a battle inside the Republican Party over this move, could there not? No, listen, Brian, what, what uh, we are launching here is the National Council for New America. We are, more, we are thrilled to have uh, Governor Palin on board. This effort is going to be uh, the launch of a conversation with the American people. And what this is about is about replicating really the efforts that what our party has been successful at over the decades, just as Ronald Reagan would have done. We're going, we're going to go out and talk about the common sense conservative principles uh, and, the, and the values that have made this country so successful. And we want a wide open policy debate. We want to include as many people as possible, frankly, to talk about the conservative message, to talk about how we can apply our conservative principles to the challenges facing this country, and frankly, how different things are here in Washington and how we need to correct what's going on. Well, the governor does have many critics on the left. Could this backfire? Well, listen, we're, we're about including as many people as possible. Uh, you know, Governor Palin is, uh, you know, the governor of Alaska facing challenges in that state, just like other states are facing their own challenges. Uh, we welcome the governor on board, and we're going to go out and, again, include as many people as possible in a wide-open policy debate uh, to talk about how the conservative uh, methodology, how the conservative philosophy, those common-sense conservative principles of freedom, of free markets, of opportunity, individual responsibility, how we can make a difference uh, in people's lives if we were to be able to apply those principles uh, to what's going on in Congress and frankly speak to what has made the communities of America so strong. Was well, it difficult to get the governor in? There are reports that she is concerned that this may hurt her relationship with the citizens of her home state in Alaska. Well, again, I, I don't know anything about the Alaska politics. Again, we're, we're glad to have the governor on board. You know, we look at the situation, and when I'm on the business network, Eric, so we look at it and we say, well, when a company rebrands because they admit that they need to change, what really is going to change? Well, listen, you know, Brian, this is not a rebranding effort. What this is is, is an attempt to make sure um, that the Republican Party goes back to the people instead of having the government from Washington to the people, make sure that the government is oriented from the people back towards its government in Washington. That's what this conversation is going to be about. Uh, absolutely, the Republicans, we on the Republican side of the aisle, uh, need to, to recognize um, the challenges that people are facing in their communities. We know about our conservative principles and how they should be applying. They're not applying right now. We have seen the most massive increase in spending in our lifetime here in Washington. Uh, we are looking at a very uncertain future and one okay. that frankly could be made a lot more certain if we were to uh, adhere right. to the common sense conservative principles. Congressman Eric Cantor of Virginia, got to leave it there, but thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Thanks, Brian.